Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure and extend you a very warm welcome on behalf of Tetso Alumni Network. Thank you all for finding the time and visiting today's webinar. Well, my name is Juan Levonio, of 2014, and currently I'm holding the position of General Secretary in Tetso Alumni Network. Today we are presenting a very special and interesting two speakers, and I'm very proud to introduce them as our very own alumni. We have two speakers, uh, Miss Naomi Aye, class of 2015. She is a published boy, poet in ebook. She was the BA gold medalist of her class in 2015 at Tetsu College. Naomi is also a BD graduate from Eastern Theological College and has an MA in English Literature from Nagaland University. We have another speaker, Mr. Muno Shu. He's a batch of 2013 and Eastern Noplak District Partner at Tafma and founder of MS Productions. He has a number of laurels to his name, such as Awardee at Upcoming Talented Musicians of Nagaland 2020, awarded for original song Bloody Twist Day at BNK Memorial Award 2019, Indie Hut Most Promising Artist 2017, finalist of Acoustic Heroes 2016, Guwahati. Two original songs nominated at Nagaland Music Awards 2017 and Nagaland Best Composer Awards Muno has also been published among the top five artists of Northeast to look out for in 2018 by Electric Magazine. Uh, just a little housekeeping before we get started. If you have any question during the presentation, you may get time and I'll definitely give you the time after the uh, presentation. Well, we advise you to turn off the microphone when the speakers presents. Now, uh, without any further ado, we will turn the time over to Mr. Mahashevel, President of Tetsu Alumni Network, to give a welcome speech. You may take your time. Hello, everyone. I hope I'm audible. Yes, you are audible. Okay, thank you. First of all, the Tetsu Alumni Association is uh, very happy to uh, organize this webinar. I welcome each and every one of you, and especially Naomi and Muno, from whom we'll be hearing very soon. Um, taking this opportunity, I would also like to tell our viewers um, that uh, we, we, the Alumni Association, wants to extend and establish a strong network where we can outreach our students, our alumni, uh, in a way that we can explore and amplify so that we can help the alumni, the institution, and enlarge the society. So this is uh, just the beginning of uh, our alumni association. This will become a yearly activity. Um, uh, we'll do more activities in the coming time. So. I hope that uh, from the next uh, activity, we will have more response from our alumni. But at present, I'm glad that we have two speakers as well as a few of our alumni. So I welcome each and every one of you. Enjoy the interaction. Thank you, Ms. Malay. Thank you, Mr. Mahashevel. Thank you for the welcome uh, speech. So with that, we will go ahead and take some time for questions to our penalties. Well, my first question goes to Mr. Muno Shu. Gents ahead, today is not ladies first, but gents ahead. Well, my question is, what made you want to become a musician? I repeat, uh, what made you want to become a musician? You may take your time. Hi, good, uh, good evening to you all. First, uh, first of all, can you hear me? I hope that I am audible enough. Yes, we are right. audible. Okay. Before I go any further, I just want to say thank you so much to the officials of the alumni of Tetsa College for inviting me for inviting me to be a part of this beautiful event. 
I never thought that I would be able to get back to the Tetsu Alumina again, but it is by true you and it is by the grace of, uh, grace of God that this evening I'm st sitting here and I, believe, uh, and I just want to thank you so much for able to share my experience uh, in whatever field I've been working on. Well, uh, thank you so much uh, to our Miss Malay uh, for the beautiful question that you have uh, said to me regarding the, regarding the music. Well, uh, I just want to say that uh, regarding the m m music career, my parents and my mom, that is my mom and dad, my brother, they have played an important role in my life. Uh, I started my music career during the year 2005. And during that time, let me say that it was not an easy one, seriously. Because as a young artist and an upcoming artist, I, feel, uh, I felt that it was a very tough one because I have to struggle this, I have to struggle that. And uh, that day, uh, I cannot forget, still it is fresh in my mind during the, during the year of 2005, 2006, 2007, that how much I struggle uh, in order to make here today I am. And I, and I never thought in my life that true music that I will earn and true music that I will make my way of living and true music that I will be able to connect with you all also. It's, it, it, it was it, it's an amazing journey, I should say. And uh, regarding the TAFMA, that is Task for Music and Arts that is from the government of Nagaland, that was not in my dream, okay, seriously, guys. That was not in my dream, but as I proceed and as I work on, uh, slowly, slowly, the uh, the government has recognized my talent and the government has recognized the effort that I'm giving and the government has recognized the dedication that I've been making and they have met me as a uh, district partner of Noklak. The, I hope that each and every one of you know, uh, know Noklak very well because it's the youngest district among, among, the, uh, among the Nagas. And at first, uh, I should say that my parents, they were not happy with what I have chosen because as we all know, and we, we all know that our parents, they only want the government job, right? Nobody wants his or her son and daughter to go into the entrepreneur side. Like my, our parents, they have all concept only. All they, all they know is that the government job, right? And my parents, they have uh, said to me, before sending to the commerce stream, they have said to me that uh, you study commerce stream and after that you become the chartered accountant. That, that that was my parents' dream, but like uh, during my college life, I'll come to that later on also. But during my college life, let me say friendly to you, I was not as, as much as brilliant as you guys were, <laughs> all right. So I was up to the the what what to say, a lot a lot man brain I know team he graduated hola the ad uh sorry for my language I'm just adding up uh with whatever, so that is how. I have studied my college life also. So my parents, they wanted me to become a chartered accountant. My parents, they wanted me to become, uh, to do the government job. But seriously, uh, I'm speaking this evening is that that was not in my blood. And that was not my decision also. All I was thinking is that, and all I need is that I have to do something on my own. That is from the music. And I know that my parents, they have played an important role in my music career. They are, they are musicians too. And I first remember that during the year of the 2005, during the year 2005, I have shared my first stage along with them. That is my mom, that is my mo uh, dad, and my brother and me. Four of us, we have performed in one of the show. And that was the memorable one. Slowly, slowly, from that only, I have started my music career. Uh, and, as, uh, and after, what to say, uh, and after so much of hardship, and after so much of working uh, through the music line, and after so much of uh, facing this mass of difficulties, the music award and then uh, the music community of Nagaland, they have recognized me and, and they, have, uh, made, uh, they have presented me the awards also. And from, from that award, it has given me a lot of, uh, what to say, more of encouraging things to proceed with the music also. So that is how I have started my music work. And during the year 2000, uh, during the year 2015, yes, I have released my first debut. 
that is uh, rise and walk, rise and walk. Yeah, it's all about the journey of my life. And and to be honest, this evening I just want to say that that song has touched to many of the lives because that song it is related to me, and that song became uh, it became as a number one in the song due uh, website. Also, it is all by by the grace of God, and it's all because of your support. And if I'm not mistaken. During the year 2016, yes, during the years 2016, I became the first among the Naga artists, if I'm not mistaken. During the year 2016, I became the first Naga artist to get featured among the top five artists of Songdu India uh, uh, in 2006. I, I believe that I'm the first Naga artist to feature among the top five artists of the Songdu India. So that is how I have started my journey. And it was not an easy journey, to be friendly. It was not an easy journey. I failed so many times. I faced this. I faced that. Some someday I have to go to the. Uh, I have to go to someone's uh, someone house and request, request them to do provide this one to do to do things for me. How it will be? Will it be possible to contribute in order to start my music career? That is so. At the meantime, we have uh, our brother Albert also. He, he, he won't be having a more experience on the music also. Because in Nagaland, one coming to the, this music term, it is very difficult. There are so many strugglings and there are so many hardships we have to face. We all know that. And our parents, we all know that. They won't support. But slowly, slowly now, as the Tafma gets into the more practical ground, as the Tafma is pushing up the young artists, as the post Tafma pushing up the artists, it's becoming more into light. And I'm grateful to the uh, government of Nagaland, uh, to the Tafma government of Nagaland uh, for initiating and for giving the, such a beautiful platform also. So in order to start the music career, what I did is that I have stayed humble, to be honest. Uh, time to time, I have kumbala ben ben kan practice kurule jam de jaina strings can be changed kurile. Otherwise, if they demand something, if they demand something, I have to, I have to run to the shop. I have to bring them because, to be honest, I'm from the very uh, average family. I should say, I'm not from the rich family. I'm born and brought up from very uh, average family. So, support, uh, like I have said, that my parents they were not supporting me also. So that is how I have to go to uh, one's jamming room and other jamming room to clean up the string, to request them about, uh, to, to teach the chord, to request them to teach the notation. To, uh, I have to request them to share what, to share the tips of what they have experienced. So that is how I have started my music career. And uh, there were two bands that is from the deeper part. They are all from the, this all community. So. It's my huge respect to the our community because the first thing I have learned music is from the our community only. The band is no more. Uh, they they call themselves as a Skylark. I don't know most of you might uh, know them or not, but they are very old band. So I used to go along with them, and and right now at present uh, they have already changed the name, but at present their band name is Enis Okay. I think last week also they have uh, done release the cover song. So these two pen, that is Skylark and N is okay. They have helped me a lot. And uh, true, I didn't, I didn't know the course at first. So they have taught me. I didn't know what to do, how to connect with others. And they have taught me like that. So uh, whenever they have a practice season also, they used to call me. They used to say, say that, enough really, enough really, enough really, enough really. So I, I, I have learned from them a lot. And I am huge respect to the our community regarding that one also. So whatever achievement I have, uh, I have received today, whatever uh, the music community has give, offered me today is all because of by the grace of God and is all because of the Tetsu alumni also. And it's all because of uh, the bands that, that uh, they have guided me uh, so well. And I just want to thank you so much regarding that one. I don't know what I will say because uh, there are so many mixed emotions running out 
in my mind right now because if i share the whole story i don't think that google google meet will be allowed to us to stay for for so long that is why i hope that we through the uh, through this small sharing uh, i hope that my music journey is clear enough to you go thank you so much male Well, thank you so much, Muno. Indeed, that, that was very interesting and inspiring, sto inspiring story. Well, uh, most of you might know, uh, know Muno, so he's, of course, very popular now. Well, I do know him personally as he's the age of 2013 and I'm the age of 2014. So he was my senior and we were good friends. <laughs> so uh, he used to sing during our college uh, days also. And I heard, I've heard him singing even during those, even during those days. But I never thought like he would take music, he's scared, but <laughs> now he's climbing up and he's on higher place and I'm so proud of him. And of course, we, are, we all are very proud of you, Muno. Thank you. Well, thank with you. That, okay. And now with that, uh, we will go to the next question uh, to Miss, uh, Miss Naomi Aye. This question is for Miss Naomi Aye. My first question is, what inspired to... What inspired you to start writing? I repeat, what inspired you to start writing? Okay. Uh, can you hear my voice? Uh, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Okay. Before I answer that question, uh, I would like to thank the Tetsu Alumni Network I was not even dreaming about having uh, having to speak on occasion like this. And I'm so much honored because uh, there's so many people out there. Still, you reached out to me. And I would like to thank uh, the alumni network and people working on it uh, for the privilege. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think this is the first time we're having this kind of event webinar. Right? I think this is the first time because I've not come across um, having such event other times. So yeah, in, in short, I'm very much honored and privileged to be here. And I want to thank you all for this privilege. And uh, it's been so long I've, after I graduated uh, in 2015, I've never been uh, back to um, the campus or I've never really kept in touch with uh, my classmates or other um, batches because we know as we go out for higher ventures or you know to wider world we become busy and maybe this is an excuse but I think it happens to all of us so this is the first time uh, I'm coming back to um, Tetsu alumni and I'm very grateful so thank you so much. And uh, also thank you for uh, the time uh, for uh, the answer session for the questions. So uh, how I started writing, writing thing was never in my mind. It never came to me, but um, you know, I don't know how it came to me actually because uh, I was an avid reader when I was in Tetsu for, uh, I would call Tetsu my home because uh, I spent my five years there and I was an avid reader. You'll always see me around the library for people um, here, uh, my classmates and also people who knows me, they will agree with that because I was an avid reader and whenever there was weekend uh I, I would freeze uh, at the end of my class, I'd go to library and then pick two, three books uh, to read over the weekend. But what actually happens is after I go back, I finish these two, three books uh, on the same night. So, uh, you know, uh, what I want to say from here is I was an avid reader, but it never struck me or it never crossed my mind that I could write too, because um, it, it never came to me so but we know that an avid reader a good reader can also be a good writer so uh it never occurred to me but i would say that when i first started this was like obligatory to me why i'm saying this is because um during my fifth semester uh Naglin's first ebook that was started by um 
English department. The initiative was taken by the English department and then uh, we were about to publish that uh, with um, Saranjan and then other uh, English department teachers. So we were in the fifth semester and being the senior most, most uh, we had to take the privilege, the first privilege. Uh, and then so it came to us like an obligatory, we, uh, something must do thing for us. So um, we were asked to contribute and then we were thinking what to write because uh, I didn't know about others, but I've never written before that. So uh, I was like, it was kind of pressure and then uh, that was so sudden because I've never written in my life and to do, to start something new was um, little pressure and then it, uh, it, but we had to do so like uh, Sir, uh, Suranjan, he came and then he was telling our classmates, the major um, English major students, our classmate, he was saying like, we should contribute. So, and he was given, uh, giving us idea what to write and how to go about. So after listening to him, we made an effort to contribute some poems. Uh, so that is uh, how I started my writing journey. Prior to this in high school days and also in my uh, higher secondary, I, when I when we were given assignment or classwork for essays, expansion and all those stuff, when I write, the teachers were always like, this is the this is the best essay or best expansion for today's class. They would declare me like that, but I I just did not take it serious, and I I was not even recognizing that skill even back then. So. It all started, this journey of writing, it all started uh, from Tetsu itself, I should say, and uh, I owe it to Tetsu for that. And then um, what I want to say is that uh, when I started this journey, uh, along the way, how Tetsu helped me, I want to mention some of those. So I was, uh, I had the privilege to um, publish in Morong Express, uh, I think it was in 2014 or 16, I'm not sure of the year, but I got the privilege to publish in Morong Express. And then, uh, like I said, I contributed to poems uh, to Naglin's first ebook. And we were very much um, privileged because it uh, we were the first batch to contribute there. And that is how we get the title of uh, published poet. So I am so grateful to Tetsu. Uh, for letting me see the skill I had and then to uh, mold it. And I'm still in the process of doing that. So uh, besides that, um, the latest thing I've written is um, I uh, in ETC, I was working as um, literary secretary. So uh, we had uh, the privilege of, um, you know, writing uh writing in magazine contributing most of uh, the works were done by us because when people don't contribute we had that responsibility so in the process like uh i also wrote so many times and also uh i wrote in um, first nsuj uh naga students union jarhat which was the uh, which was first of its kind the first magazine in the year 2020 and i've also uh, contributed there uh, the title is um, voice of a naga woman so the the article that i contributed was uh, actually um, i also write and perform so uh, that was the performance i gave in um, etc uh, during the International Women's Day, uh, I think that was 2020. Yeah. So I performed that in um, International Women's Day. We have around 45 to 46 different tribes uh, when, I uh, when I was studying there. So um, I was given the privilege to represent the Naga women voice. So I wrote that and then I performed uh, on that very day. So I contributed the same to uh, NSUJ, the first art, uh, first magazine. So um, I do not have like, 
it was not like uh, I started writing um, very early or I have no such story. But of course, I write, but it was all to do with academics and the teachers were, uh, like I said earlier, the teachers were, um, they were admiring my writings and the you know, the, uh, I was always told um, how good I write, but I never uh, thought of that. And slowly, when I came to be, a, it began as obligatory thing. So this journey so far has been amazing. And um, but I should say that uh, I'm still in the process of um, uh, making myself the uh, leading. Uh, being out there, I still need to progress more and I'm still building myself to go out there and then uh, to the bigger world and then to um, most good writers out there. So, uh, but still I'm so humbled and uh, I would I would like to continue to carry on this um, writing uh, as my passion and I'm still working towards this perfection. So that is how I began. And yes, um, I'm still in the process of becoming uh, the best um, in a writing career. So yeah, thank you so much. I hope that met clear to you all. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much, Ms. Naomi Aye. Indeed, that was very interesting. And when I was hearing your story, I can totally feel that woman and empowerment enthusiasm in you. Well, we are very proud of you. And coming from Tetsu alumni is a, really a proud moment for us. Thank you so much, Ms. Naomi Aye, for sharing your experiences. Um, now, my second question goes to Mr. Muno. My question is, tell us about your experience in Tetsu College. Tell us about your experience in Tetsu College. Well, thank you. Thank you, Male, for a beautiful question. Uh, I think that it will take all day and whole night if I say about uh, each detail about my stay at Tetsu College because I have so many memories and then I have so many, uh, what to say, footprints that I've left at the Tetsu College and I've learned from the Tetsu College. All right. Uh, so before I jump into the uh, other topics, I just want to say that my high school life it was a quite it was a quite boring one, to be honest. My high school life it was a quite boring. But after I enter into my dream college, that is Tetsa College. Wow, my whole life is turned totally different from there, to be honest. Uh, I just want to share so many things about Tetsa College because I have so many memories, like I've said. Those days, after I entered into the class 11, I felt as a king. Why? Because in class 10 passing in a college, actually, the, the word college itself, it's a big one, as we all know that. To this generation, I don't know about them, but uh, during those days, during the, during the year of 2008 and 2009, something like that, when we used to talk about college, college tech itself, people used to, I don't know people, what people used to say, uh, used to think or used to say, but as a student, we used to feel proud, right? And during that day, I still remember is that, starting from the class 11 until my graduation, to be honest, if the administrator is there here at online, then so sorry, sir. Uh, I just want to speak out this evening. Uh, from class 11 to uh, till my graduation, I have never tucked my shirt. That is how I have studied. Because uh, to be honest. So that is how I spend. And uh, I was in the commerce department. And as we all know, Tetsu College, especially in Tetsu College, the common department, we used to have around 19 or 20 students only. So during that time also, it was like that only. We were so few, we were so few, but so my my, uh, my classmates, uh, along with my classmates, we have met one group. We used to call ourselves as a genius group. Uh, I think Miss Malay and group, 
uh, Beige might know us very well because since we all know about ups and downs about each and every one. Uh, so they, they might have not uh, known about ourselves. We used to call ourselves as a genius game. So we used to call ourselves as a genius, but to be honest, not that much genius in studies also. But in other activities, in other activities regarding the sports, regarding the music, regarding uh, the, any other things, in regarding the competition and all, our commerce department, we used to be in the first position. At, at the meantime, we used to uh, walk in the first place. So that's the positive thing about uh, our, our class. So from that only, oh, we came to, uh, we, uh, we it just knocked into our mind is that, why don't we call ourselves as a genius? So from that time, we used to call ourselves as a genius, but not genius in the study part. All right. Uh, please hold on. Yeah. We used to call ourselves as a genius, but not genius in uh, study side. That is how I've experienced. And even though we were uh, we are weak in studies, we were weak in doing this and that, but our uh, I, I'm speaking on behalf of the commerce department from for uh, from my batch. All right. Uh, so 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 sorry for the art department, uh, but I just want to share my experience while staying in the commerce department. So even though we were weak, even though we are this and that, our unity, our thoughts, our determination to achieve something was very strong at that time. And till now, we are following that one. And by the grace of God and by, uh, to be honest, I can speak freely is that it is all because of our strong determination and unity that all of my classmates, we are working in some way or the other way. We are not, to be honest, we are not debating our parents anymore. So that is how we are working on. Even though we were weak in the studies, but Tetsu College have shown us so much that today I can feel proud to myself and I can feel proud to my uh, classmates also. Because none of us are working in the walking in the wrong, wrong direction all of us are working somewhere or the other way earning for ourselves and making our lives we have chosen our stream as a commerce but we have divided from there into the many groups i should say uh, and i still remember and i still remember that we have done one song i don't know how many of you might have come across with that i we have done one song at freshest meat that is freshest meat all right, uh, that song was we, we Are The World from Michael Jackson. All right, uh, those days, it was so much fun. We used to practice every night and day. We used to have uh, this and that while, uh, like a refreshment and all while practicing. But at the end of the day, while we were performing, so sorry guys, so sorry to my classmate. If you are here online, I just want to reveal, all right? but. While performing on that day, uh, that is a song, We Are The World, one microphone, one microphone, it was without cable, all right? One microphone, it was without cable. But two of my friends, they have shared that the same microphone. They were singing like anything, that as if they were, uh, as if that there is a check, uh, as if that it is a cordless, without knowing anything, two of my friends, I don't know they, they are here or not, but uh those guys were uh david that is david terry and george these two guys these two of my best buddies they were singing like anything as if they were uh as if there there is a microphone to cable as if there is a it's a cordless all right but the thing is that it's not it's not a cordless microphone it, we have to put excellent to, the, uh, to, the, to that microphone in order to connect, all right? So without any connecting, they were singing like anything and they were enjoying. But during, the, during that uh, freshest meet, we have enjoyed a lot. There are so much memories that during that uh, we have met during the freshest meet. I wish that I could share all of the memories on that day because that was one of the most happiest day of our life, all right? And yes, since I am sitting now, I'm sitting and talking right now. You, you guys might not have recognized my height. My name is Lambada Noide. It's kind of kiko, a bit short. 
<laughs> All right. So everybody used to call me Chotadon, Chotadon. Why? Because we were few students. At the meantime, uh, there. At the meantime, ninety percent of my classmates they are around six feet only. At the meantime, my height is just five point two or five point three something like that only. All right. So Chota Beam and Chota Don, we used to deal like that. So during that time, whenever we used to go to fee counter and all, they used to lift me up. And whenever I used to come up from there, because, because during that time, the, uh, the counter, the fee counter at the meantime, uh, the reception center, it used to be rushed enough. Because as in Naga, we all know that we used to go only for the last day, right? So during that time, it, it used to be rushed enough. They used to, uh, they used to pull me up and they used to, uh, what to say, they make, they, we used to make fun of each other, something like that. And when I, were, I used to come out or we used to come out from the office, we used to feel, I used to feel, especially me, I used to feel very proud because even though I'm the smallest one, uh, all, of, all of my friends, they are around six feet. So I used to feel proud and I used to feel myself as a Chotadon. And from that, uh, Chota Bim has come up. Uh, my name, my name, my name tag, my nickname. It has become my nickname. From that, Chota Bim has arrived in me. So I used to feel very proud to myself that even though I am short, I am ruling the world. Something like that. No, not not actually. But I just want to share. I just want to share that experience also. It was to be honest. It was like this. This is me, and these are my friends. It was like that. So. We had a quite uh, good memories, and I just want to say, yeah. I personally want to think, I have tried many times to come to Tetsu, come to, to our Tetsu College and share and say thank you, but uh, the luck or the timing was not good enough for me. But this evening, I'm so much lucky to the Tetsu Alumni Group also officials also. So this evening, I just want to say thank you so much to two important person who have uh, helped us a lot and who have met and to whom we have made so much memories while staying in the Tetsu College. That is, one is Sir Jeffrey. Sir Jeffrey, he's from the Commerce Department. I think uh, the General Secretary Group might, not, uh, might, know he, might know him. And one is Sir Onen. These are the, these are the two gentlemen and these are the two, uh, two of our favorite lecture. Why? Because Something is there, all right, personal talk, sorry guys. So I just wanna say thank you so much to Sir Jeffrey, Sir Onen for bringing us together. They are not like our lectures. We have shared our memory and we have shared our stay at Tetsu College along with them as a brother, as a mentor, as a teacher, everything. We have shared the good times, we have shared the bad times. We have shared our grievances also. We have laughed together, we have cried together along with them. Obviously, I'm, not, I, I'm so sorry to other lecturers. You all have done amazing a part in our lives. Was thing at the Tetsu College. Thank you so much to all the lecturers, but uh, Sir Jeffrey and Sir Onen, these, these two guys, a handsome, uh, very, very kind, hearted, and then very gentleman. Uh, I just wanna say thank you so much to them also. And thank you Tetsu College for what I am today. It is because of you guys that I am here today and sharing in front of you guys. Without you guys and without Tetsu College, I can't dream to myself that where I will be. I will be sitting in some, uh, in some corner uh, doing this and that, or I may be, uh, what to say, like I've got the name tag as a Chotadon also. So, so thank you so much to Tetsu College. It, has, it was an amazing journey. I just want to share so many things about our experience while staying in the college because to be honest I, I'm not trying to popularize our commerce department but I just want to share that our commerce department was so different from other department you, ca you guys can go and check uh, you guys can go and uh, consult with our administrator or social colo uh, he, he will know every detail of us because that much naughty and that much genius we were. So it was a good stay at the Tetsu College and 
like I said, I just want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to get to college for whatever I'm today, for whatever position that you have met, and for whatever uh, things that you have given me to make myself in, uh, into what I am today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Malay, for the beautiful question. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Muno. And we could see on your face how much you were happy while expressing about your experiences in Tetsu College. I hope you really had a good time. And yes, I know the story behind the Freshers' Day. I know behind that. I, I, I know behind almost everything, I guess, because we were like, shared for two years. You were my yes. senior. So that was really good indeed. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences. Now Thank moving you. on to the next question. My question goes to Miss Naomi Aye. Writing can be an emotionally draining and stressful pursuit. Any tips for aspiring writers? I repeat, writing can be an emotionally draining and stressful pursuit. Any tips for aspiring writers? Um, to that question, I, sh uh, I should agree that um, it is a yes, it can be emotionally um, and, you know, or even um, a stressful thing because like I narrated how my journey began, it all started like out of compulsion and have to do things. So uh, at that time, um, it it came to me like um it was a stressful thing i should say and then um also uh leaving that apart also uh what i would like to mention is that um sometimes we are forced by circumstance and sometimes like uh some people uh i i just want to share my experience like um when when people know that you are I think that happens to most of us, especially in Naglin. Like when people know that you're a literature, English literature student, uh, the editing thing or the poem or some write up, they just tell you all of a sudden, they ask you, they come uh, seeking for your help, like just, just like that, out of nowhere. And like to write, we need an inspiration. And then uh, we need the mood and um, the right inspiration, the right emotion, the right mood. Because I know this is not generalizing. It might not apply to some, but for me, if I say that I'll sit down, now I'll think and write, then it, it will never happen to me because I can never create anything out of it if I decide to sit down and then think and write because it is something like it just flows to you and sometimes uh, wherever and then uh, it doesn't matter wherever you are or at what moment it just comes flowing to you. Sometimes the, the exact line comes to you and you don't even have to redraft and, you know, or produce it like that. So uh, I think, um, like I say, um, it needs, you know, right inspiration, right mood, right emotion. So sometimes uh, when people come to you like that, just thinking that you can do it right away. And then so that is um, where the stressing thing comes in. And um, I would like to narrate my experience that is uh, the in um, working as a literary secretary, uh, we had to produce a magazine, college magazine, and to produce a college magazine, that is a big responsibility. And then it it doesn't just stay in the campus, but it has to reach out to um, other people as well. So uh, we had to come up with a, a team for that magazine. And then uh, so we open uh, the for the team selection, we open it to every individual who were interested to contribute. And so, but we at the back of our mind that uh, the president and we had this um, thought like, what if nobody contributed or if it was not um, worth making it the theme? So at the back of our mind, we had that. So uh, all of a sudden it was Sunday morning. So, and um, 
I had like uh, the panel of judges uh, who were going to judge the theme and uh, select it of as fin uh, finalize it as the um, theme for the magazine. They were uh, asking it um, in the afternoon and we had just few hours. So like all of a sudden we talked and then I was like, we have to have the backup plan. So within an hour, I had to frame a um, theme for the magazine just uh, in case nothing works out uh, we have to uh, be prepared with the plan b or the backup uh, theme so like within an hour i had to pressure myself to bring up something like applicable and then um suiting the um, theme or uh, the um may uh the we had this cultural team for it so like uh, suiting the team, we had to come up with some article, and the very team is also um, uh, will also be part of the magazine uh, in the uh, first few pages. So uh, it had to be appropriate and then a good one. So I was pressured to write, and then uh, but in one hour I have to come up with that. So um, it came as a pressure, but. Anyways, I have to do it. So I wrote it. Then we collected five to six people were contributing, but very less. So I in, I included mine too, and we submitted to the panel of judges uh, during the given time. And then they were going through. And at night, uh, we were uh, the gave us the final team to be chosen for the magazine. And to my surprise. Um, it was the theme I wrote. So like, and we had to, uh, I had to read, uh, read out, recite the theme on the literary day. So such experiences, through such experiences, what I want to say is like, sometimes it's like um, when you, you're pressured to do, like you're pressured to do something uh, just all of a sudden and then we're like so unprepared and so that is the time when we feel stressed still. What I want to encourage the writers is that the first tip is like we have to be passionate because I love writing because uh, I part of uh, being able to write not um, as good as maybe most of the writers out there but uh, being able to, you know, uh, write, that is uh, my passion, being writing, being my passion, I at least came up with something at the stressful moment. So what I want to say is that we have to be passionate. When we're passionate, nothing can hinder or uh, nothing can hinder what uh, we love to do. You know, what we love to do by any means, we do it. And being passionate about something is the first step I would encourage. Also, there's sometimes like uh, we need to uh, give very demanded um, time investment, financial investment. And during this lockdown, um, I know this is not part of the, uh, might not relate to this question, but during the log uh, lockdown period, I feel uh, I regret those uh, days and those years. I just spent it like that because I should have come up with something. And since writing writing is my passion, I would have made something out of my skill. But it came to me so late that I'm I'm currently working on some uh, my personal project, and it needs. I'm again um, affirmed that uh, we need we need a uh, time investment and also financial investment uh, to, to venture on this journey so like these things can come in you know and then but it should never let your passion die down uh, this um you know such demands should never let your passion down and the thing we can do is just keep writing writing and then the more we write, I think, and also, yes, um, we should also be a good reader. So, uh, you know, a good reader is always a good um, writer, can always be a good writer. Why I say so is because uh, we uh, we get to um, 
be rich in our vocabularies. And then there's so many things we don't know that we are benefiting from it. And when we write, everything comes out. Uh, the benefits uh, we've been gaining, it comes out in our writing. So we have to keep reading also uh, side by side. And the more we write, I think we get better, according to my experience. So like we have to be passionate, keep writing, and then whatever demands come, it should not stop us. It should not uh, hinder us or uh, it should not, you know, um, discourage us. But we should just keep writing and um, go on. So uh, these are a few tips, uh, tips I would like to give out. And this, uh, I'm not just say, uh, telling it out to the aspiring writers alone, but these are the things that um, I encourage myself. And, you know, I continue this journey. So. I always believe in the quote that uh, quote that says, um, "Anything worth doing is worth doing well." So, like, uh, you know, if we want to pursue on something, we have to give our best. Uh, whatever circumstances, whatever situation, whatever we face. So, um, I think being passionate about something you love is what um, helps us overcome any hurdles. And yeah, so I. I am also in the process. So like, let us all ha uh, having, keeping these tips that inspires, uh, that inspires me and encourage me. And you know, the quotes um, that I just read out, let us keep growing, progressing so that someday we can make this dream a reality. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Naomi Aye. And also thank you for the useful tips for the young as, uh, uh, aspiring writers. Now, my next question goes to Mr. Muno. My third question is, who is your ideal musician to collaborate with and why? I repeat, who is your ideal musician to collaborate with and why? You may take your time. Uh, thank you so much for the beautiful question. and. Wow, there are so many of a mission. There are so many of missions that I want to collaborate. All right, because as an artist, it's always good to collaborate with one another. But uh, I just want to collaborate with one person right now. Is that I just want to collaborate with or Sir Nisi Mirunu, Sir Nisi Mirunu, as we all know that, right? As we all know him, I think among the Nagas, without knowing, uh, without knowing him. There's, there are only a few of them who does not know about him, right? So I just want to collaborate with Sir Nishi Mirunu because why, I'm, why, why I just want to collaborate with him is why I want to collaborate with him is that his skills of playing music, his skill of singing is totally different, all right? Uh, if, you if you guys get time in future or if you guys get time this evening, kindly listen to his song, kindly listen to his piece, kindly watch out to his skills, all right? You will understand that why I want to collaborate with him. So uh, I want to collaborate with, right now I want to collaborate with Sir Nishi Mirunu. So I think apart from him, uh, there's none of them. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Muno for your answer. Now my third question goes to Ms. Uh, Naomi Aye. My question is, Tell us about your experience in Tetsu College. I repeat, tell us about your experience in Tetsu College. I have um, so many experiences because I studied there for five years. Um, I would like to begin with like, uh, I was I am. Uh, I was never the person that you see me today. I was very shy, timid, and a uh, very private person. And uh, my classmates, some of them are here. They will know. So when the teachers come in and take their class, they will always mention that um, the most silent and the most private person. They, they will uh, address me that way. They will call me uh, with that, those names. So like. Uh, they know how silent, how timid, and how shy I was, and then, um, and uh, I first decided to be a part of that so family um, uh, because uh, I 
I actually had the plan of pursuing theological study after my um, class 12. So being so being um, nearby and then uh, it's the distance between my place and that so it's not very far so um it began that way like uh, since the distance is not very long and i just have two years to study so uh, 11 and 12 after that i'll be pursuing a uh, theological my theological uh, study so just two years maybe i'll invest it in that so so that is how i began my journey but after my uh, class 12 um I was uh, in a dilemma whether to pursue my BD or not. And then I was, um, I know it might sound funny to some of us here. And I, thinking back, I feel funny how I decided um, my life's decision that way. But I was telling myself, I, it was the first time uh, in our batch when we, um, when I, uh, in 2013, yeah, I think 13 or 14, we were the first base to experience the semester system. So we were hearing um, the news like uh, that so will be introducing um, semester system very soon. So I was I decided like the part of me wanted to pursue BA and add, uh, part of me had the responsibility to start my theological journey. So I, I told myself if uh, every Tetsu College um, introduced semester um, before I join uh, BA, then uh, I'll continue my BA study uh, in the same. So that's how I decided my dilemma. And then um, it happened that um, the Tetsu introduced um, semester system so we were the first batch to experience that so that is how i pursued my bs well there and uh three years uh more ba days so um i was still very timid shy and then um all you'll see me the only places you'll see me is classroom library and then uh maybe i appeared very boring or you know bookworm or i don't know what else uh to other people and then uh and i should say um i really was a very private person and um, i most I hardly talk to my classmates. I'll come and then sit in the um, first row, you know, and then um, just go back straight. If I have to um, go to visit a library, I'll go visit a library and go back home straight. So that was my like monotonous life, home to that first bench and first bench to, you know, uh, it was a funny thing, but that is uh, how I was back then. And then, um, Sometimes while uh, we're sitting and we come early and while sitting in the first row, you know, our classmates will come in and I'll, those persons sitting at the bed because I never even turn back to see my classmates. So like um, uh, when some people come in, I see new faces like almost every day. So I'll, I'll ask to my um, my friends at my right or left is he or she our classmates and you will be shocked like are you serious you don't know him you don't know her so i was like that i mean um just very silent in my own world and um, engrossed with my studies uh that was the kind of person i was uh in college and then um and reading reading was my favorite thing to do so all the time you'll see me with novels um, of different kinds and at one point of time i tried um finishing the whole shelf of um that um english literature section but i i um i was almost graduating by then uh, when i planned to do so so um, i could not uh fulfill that thing but i uh, finished reading almost all the shelves and um, but I couldn't complete it of course so you know uh, reading was very much part of my life uh, in um, in my uh, BA days in my uh, Tetsu 
study day. So, and uh, when I first came to uh, from class twelve, um, jumping to class uh, to BA was like it was a very new experience for me. And uh, to the the things we study in high secondary and then uh, like um, in BA, it was like very different so when we first start uh when i took my first ba exam like i was literally crying because it was very hard for me to adjust um from class 12 and to uh ba we know how question patterns are and how the um study thing changes so uh i would cry and um, i think my sister is also attending so she'll remember so you know i literally cried it was exam time. I was very pressured and uh, the system pattern, all those were very new to me. So I was finding it difficult and I cried and I studied so hard. That is where maybe because I worked so hard, um, I ripped uh, the fruit at the end. But, you know, I had to um, struggle with my studies and then uh, so all my experiences uh, besides uh, having uh, close friends, you know, my experience in Tetsu was like mostly to do with my studies and then reading things and, you know, um, discovering my skills. But also I was, I should say I was um, shyly active in um, college events and Tetsu, uh molded me so much why i'm saying this is because it is the most happening college and there's seminars and there's um department events there's power and then so many events so like you get to expose yourself to things that you have never tried before and then um i i could I was a person, since I was a private person and very shy, you know, I could never stand in front of people and face them. But um, the events after events and department thing, we were responsible to organize. Sometimes we had to host. So all those, you know, experiences um, gave me the confidence. And then um, most of it, those um you know confidence uh developed in me during that so day so i have so much to um owe it to that so and um yeah that is how my journey uh in that so was so uh i developed myself besides academic um you know uh, studies i also developed myself in so many ways and then uh, most of the um, privileges like publishing and then uh, being able to get entitled all those were um, were are like big achievements of my life and it all came uh, during my journey in that so for five years so uh, I'm very grateful and then um, the teachers uh, one uh, big opportunity one privilege I should say is uh, you know, um, being a brilliant student being a good student is you get so many privileges so uh i was often called to like um sometimes uh circle of sophies dr hawasa and then um, like dr ps lauren you know they were um uh they were they would often um you know ask me like how are the classes going or how are the teachers um, keeping up with your expectation all those and i remembered I never say the word when they called me and then I'm like always nodding because I don't know what to say and like I hardly had any words during those times so uh, and then they will only smile and say what they want to say and then send me off so um, but I never said anything about any uh, teacher uh, why I'm saying this is because um, I was like of course i needed the help of my teachers and they contributed so much to my achievements and but uh i was also like um, a person who did so much on my own and um that is what i learned uh from date so and uh, i'd like i also like to mention um dr hewasa who is such a big inspiration to me and uh, also um sir anjan he was always encouraging us to be you know um, 
open-minded um, to see the things th that are only our imaginations can and then uh, you know to um, explore the being a literature student to explore to um, more uh, you know uh, to far possible way our mind can go so like uh, that those imaginations and those you know uh, opening to big um, things all those uh, um, things develop in me through their encouragement and uh, through the way they taught us. So um, I'm very grateful to um, Saranjan and also, uh, of course, all the other teachers. But um, and Dr. Hewasa has been such a big inspiration to me. And uh, yeah, so the, those are my experiences. I think it talked about. Um, studies alone but uh to be honest um i was so much into those then you know being um you know having that uh lively um experiences with friends and uh have going to canteen and then hanging out all those stuff so rather than all those i had this um, so many uh so much to do with my study thing so uh you know and i would also like to mention that i think this will be the last opportunity so like um, i wish uh the younger um, uh you know uh batches were here so they could hear me out but um oh, i I started using a phone uh, only during my master's and I did not, uh, you know, uh, use phone uh, till my till I graduated. And one uh, um, funny, but, you know, uh, very, I think back now and I wonder how did I do so, so um, uh, all our during I'm in class 11, 12. Now, even the kids' uh, generation is changing, so they have mobile phones. And for me, I of course, I got scholarship. I had that merit uh, scholarship and all those, but it never came to me that I should own a phone. So I never did. And then uh, Sir Amjan, I think he gave us to um, print out uh, it came to one book when I wrote the whole thing down. So he was giving material and uh, asking us to either print out or have it on your phone. And I did not on the phone. So, uh, you know, um, the thing I did was, I don't know how, where that kin came from, where that kinness came from, but uh, I wrote the whole thing and it came to, it came to one uh, thick size book. So, uh, we were asked to submit, um, I think we were given one week, so we were to submit the next week. And when I wrote the whole thick book and submitted, like, he was so shocked. And then he was blazing me with all the words. And then I didn't know how to react. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but um, I actually finished writing that uh, within four days. But I did not tell him because I thought uh, he might, uh, you know, uh, take me not human or something. So I told him it took me one week, but I actually finished it, uh, finished writing the whole book in um, four days. So, you know, uh, he was uh, blessing me with all the words and he was um, saying that may you you know, keep the skinness in study. And next day he came and said, you are the star of um, stuff room. So I was like, what did I do? And I was thinking because of the writing the book, it went out of my mind. So then he said, the thick book you wrote, you know, everybody's, um, you know, shocked, amazed and like whatnot. So he came next day and said um, i was the star of the staff room so i don't know how i reacted to that but you know such experiences i mean those are like um, i think back and i don't know how those um interests came in me so this um there's besides those there's so many things but uh, like um I'm sharing it's all to do with uh, academics so it might sound 
boring to many here, but yeah, uh, those are my um, experiences. And then uh, I've achieved so much. Uh, well, I was part of the um, Tetsu family. I am still part of Tetsu family, but uh, you know, my um, stay there for five years gave me so much more than I could even think or I could even dream of. So. Uh, I'm very grateful and yeah, um, forever I'll be um, part of this family and uh, long live that so great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Uh, Naomi Aye. Thank you for sharing your beautiful experiences and journey with that so great. I'm sure these messages uh, will reach to your classmates, your loved ones, and of course to Dr. Hewasa Lorin and Sir Ranjan. Thank you. Now this will be my last question to Mr. Munoshu. My question is, what's your process for dealing with performance anxiety? I repeat, what's your, uh, what's your process for dealing with performance anxiety? You may take your time. Well, thank you. Uh, in short, I just want to say that uh, to this question is that whenever I feel, uh, whenever I used to feel that broken inside my heart, or whenever I used to have uh, the shows and all, I used to I always used to close my eyes before I go up to the stage. If I have something anxiety or something else, something something like that, I used to close my eyes and then I used to uh, meditate for some few minutes and I used to put all my uh, tr all my thoughts and all my actions into the God's hands of me. Without God's will, we cannot do anything, as we all know. So I used to put uh, my faith in Him, and I used to put all my sorrows to Him. That is how I used to deal before I got to the stage, or if I have some reason in my, uh, well, before performing uh, to, to the concerts and all. Well, and yes, mm, I just want to say one thing to each and every one of you is that no matter where, uh, wherever you are and whatever you do, always have faith in God because our God's love is amazing. If you're falling down, our God will surely lead you to the right position. All right. So always put and always have faith in God because so far as my experience deal, uh, deals with, I used to work with the faith on me. All right. What I'm today, when whatever I'm position I'm holding, and whatever I'm, I, I'm achieving, whatever efforts I'm achieving, and whatever I'm getting through the music is that it's all because of God's love and also because of putting faith in our Almighty God. So, and yes, always try to do new things because we know that our, you and I are genetic. You and I are fearfully and wonderfully made. We all know that. So always try to do unique. And this world is full of challenges and opportunity and that is very much true i hope that none of you will disagree with that right today's world is full of challenges and opportunities uh yeah when we look at the young people they always used to complain that there is not there is no opportunity for me there is no there is nothing for me there is nothing left for me there is not uh, not even a space for me something like that the young people always used to complain but it is not true when we look at the uh, to this world, there is full of opportunities because opportunity lies in the challenges also. If you can solve the challenges, you will be successful in that. We will fail a thousand times. Does not matter. If you're falling down from, if you're falling down from one project, try to wake up and try to uh, use it in a right way again. Get up from there and try to walk on. I know that we might fail a thousand times, but future lies in that. We will know the importance of failing a thousand times. And from there, I believe that during the coming days of our life, we will be someone. We won't be the same person that we used to be before. Like I have said that young people always used to complain. With, uh, regarding the opportunities, but they are full of opportunities. The only thing is that we can't take the challenges. We used to give up very soon. That is how young people used to feel, right? And I know that 
I'm not telling lies regarding that one. Because as a young people, as a youth, I know that what hardship we are facing and what into what we are. But let me tell you is that if you fall down at one go, if you leave that one over there, it's not going to get a fruitful life. And it is not going to get a fruitful results. So if you're failing a thousand times also, wake up and rise up. We will achieve something and we will be standing on our own very soon with that. All right. So no matter what, what happens in your life, never give up. Have faith. Have faith in God. And always, and I just want to request one thing to each and every one of us that always put your prayer first. Always put the prayer first. Always good. put God first and work on and you will understand the importance of prayer and you will understand the importance of our Almighty God in you. All right. Great come, great, great uh, nothing comes. We won't be achieving nothing if you are not working. Nothing will come to you, will come to you if you are not working. If you are working hard and if you are dedicated enough, the people will know, the world will know, and you will achieve. Everything takes time, I understand that. Because we all know that Rome was not Rome was also not being limited. But have faith and push up and pursue your career. Regarding the music field also, I just I want to share so many things. Uh, I wish that it was a, o, 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 offline. But uh, this evening also I have so much good time with you all. And regarding the music, I like I've said, I just want to share so many things. Because yeah, as a young people, as a young Nagas, we don't understand the importance of music. We don't understand the importance that Tafma is giving. We have our brother Albert here. He's running the music school, if I'm not mistaken. He will have the taste of the music. He's living a very peaceful life with music. See, that is how music is also growing. And Tafma is always there to support the young artists. And Tafma is always there to push the youth to live a better life with the music also. If you want to take example, I'm so sorry because I'm uh, put, bringing everything in under one package. If you want to take example of music is that, that uh, true music, we can uh, bring one good example is that, look at Sir Alabo, look at Sir Nisi, right? They're having a peaceful life. They're having, they're earning a lot. It is why? because of the music. True music also we can do. And true music also we can survive. That is what I just want to say. In order to recognize by the government, you have to work hard. Your talent, your energy, your dedication will recognize. That's very true because talent does not have a boundaries. If you and I are perfect, definitely we will get the opportunity. If you and I are dedicated, definitely we will be someone in our, uh, some, we will be someone in future all right so wherever wherever i go whatever i do and wherever i stand whatever feel i do whatever songs i do all i do is that all i need is that and all i put in to the god's face is that the faith on me i used to work by faith and live by faith thank you so much that's all Thank you so much, Mr. Muno, once again for sharing your beautiful music journey with us. Well, moving on to the next question. Uh, this is also this also will be the last question for Miss Naomi. Where do you draw inspiration from? I repeat, where do you draw inspiration from? Can you take it? Okay. Um... The inspirations that I get um, are not like something very big or, you know, uh, not uh, such thing, not from such thing, but um, like everyday experiences and ordinary lives, you know, from our everyday experiences, our ordinary living. And um, I had... Um, a few few years back uh, i had this 
you know, because inspiration, um, I think I even said in the first question, like inspiration, it just flows to you like that. So it doesn't see the place, the moment, it just flows to you when it has to. So, um, you know, uh, one one write-up I, I have in my um, Facebook page, I think it's titled um, Until No More. So, uh, you know, I want to give an example that inspiration came from like, um, I was going out uh, in Dimapur. I, uh, I had to go out. So we were uh, in a traffic jam then. Um, I saw, um, you know, um, an old man with a ring and then he had because he was an old man he had this sashed uh, skin and then the very hand was still holding the ring so uh, you know based on that i think it inspired me to um, want to write something on that so uh, you know out of that uh, it inspired me to write something and it's um, in the um, wall of my fb so maybe um, if you want to you can go and check so you know inspiration it's like where it visits you and you know what moment it visits you we do not know and um at times you know uh, you tend to forget so what i usually do is when such uh, flows come in you know, uh, I take my phone and start typing in my notepad so that I don't forget and I can use them, you know, sometimes refining them and or sometimes just um, leaving it the exact same thing that comes to me. So, uh, you know, uh, and what I'm interested more is like um, towards the harsh realities, like the thing that we face, we need to all face like death or sometimes um and also, yeah, on women, you know, uh, some might think I'm feminist, but Sir Anjan already started calling me feminist way back when I was his student. So, um, but yeah, I love writing on women, being the voice of um, women. And um, also, like I said, the harsh realities of life uh, that we see around every day and then we dread um, to face them, but we still have to face them. So, you know, those are things, those experiences are things I'd like to write on and I feel like writing on it. And I think, um, I don't know if I do justice, but I think most of my writings uh, go to those sorts of experiences. So, yeah, uh, it just inspiration. Uh, it comes from everyday experiences and then um, ordinary things that we face every day uh, and we have to face. So those are um, some, you know, uh, some areas where I go get inspiration and I keep writing on. So, yeah, and that is it. Okay, thank you once again, Ms. Naomi Aye, for sharing your views. Thank you. Well, so uh, yeah, thank you. It looks like I have covered up all the questions from my side, but as I've mentioned earlier, uh, if you have any question from your side, uh, from the audience, uh, if you have any questions for our panelists today, you can unmute your microphone and you can your video and you can ask any question to our panelists. You may take your time. I repeat again, is there anything else you wanted to cover uh, before I wrap up from the audience side? Am I able not exactly a question. Oh. I just wanted to drop by and say hi. Okay. Hello, Sylvie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Muno. <laughs> okay. So I just wanted to ask something to my very dear friend here, Muno. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, please, please. Like you were my senior and like you, we have been quite... Uh, how do you say? <laughs> we were comrades back then. That's what I would say. So yeah, it's really good to see you. And like Naomi, thank you for all your wonderful uh, description of how you have come 
to where you are and like where you plan to go and what you have in your mind and all your inspiring words and everything. It's really nice to see family of that so college really bonding like this and uh, being here, like having this platform. This is a really blessed thing. So Muno, my question is like literally targeted to Muno. <laughs> yeah, please, 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 please. Is that yeah. So, what what exactly made you like you know what made you you might you have given a little bit of you have given the itsy bitsy uh, stuff uh, information and details from your previous conversation, the the current conversation that we had before, uh, but uh, I just wanted to know I just want to know like what exactly made you uh, decide like. I'm going to be an artist. Like I'm just going to go. <laughs> I'm going to be a full-time artist. I'm just going to sing and I'm just going to perform and I'm just going to create uh, this particular identity for me. Like what exactly triggered that? What wired you that way? <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, before I go to your question, I just want to say it's good to see the Butterflies gang out here. Thank you so much. It's mm -hmm. a lovely evening with you all. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Uh, during my first conversation, I just, I just said that whatever I am today and whatever music career I've started, it's all because of my parents. My parents, they have played an important role. I think that you have skipped that one. So mm -hmm. behind my back, behind my music career, my parents, they are the backbone of it. And why I've started is that, and why I've done, why I've, why, why, how I've done is that, I've watched them playing live in the churches and all because both of my parents, they are musicians and my brother, he plays too. So that is how my inner beauty of music develops by after looking at them and after watching at them. And like I've said that my first stage, it was also uh, back in the 2005 along with them, along with my parents. But during my college life, to be honest, during my college life, I used to do music. And I used to make music, but that time, like I have said, most of our parents, they don't want his, or, uh, her, his son or her daughter or something like that, does not want to become a musician because yeah. there, <laughs> there is no scope for that, right? We all know that. Our parents used to do that. All they do is their government job. So during my college life also, music was there in me, but... All my friends, apart from Butterflies Gang and apart from the alumni, all my friends, that is Medo, Indong, George, Toro, uh, David Chang, David Terry, they all know about me. So what I did is that I have kept it in one umbrella because I have done music during my college life in a very hidden way. Because parents used to say that, oh, you are singing again. Oh, you're going to pursue that one again. No, don't do that. You all, you, all you need to do is study, 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 something like that. So that is how during my college life also, I have kept in, into the darkness, I should say. So uh, regarding the dead one, embracing the dead one, I am releasing one song that is during the month of November. That the okay. song title is, the song title itself is Out of Darkness. So that Out of Darkness, it is relating to all of my college life because just in hints because during my course college life i was living in a fear why fear because i was fearing uh, to my parents that commissioner parents can do music music like the no it's a no for them obviously they do music but they always used to say no because look at the naga people look at the naga music where is the scope that is the that is the famous dialogue they have, right? Mm -hmm. So in that song, Out of Darkness, it is all related to my life. Because the I like explain really well, I like I think by the title itself, you guys uh, will be have a clear vision about what that song is all about, right? The song is about all of my college life because I was living in a fear, obviously, it, there was a tears of joy. There was a joy. There was laughter along with you guys also. I have so much fun. I had so much of memories with you all. But inside me, mm -hmm. taking commerce stream and then taking into the life of uh, uh, 
uh, studying in a level uh, uh, in a in a college, that was a fear that I had. All right, because my aim was not to pursue college. My aim was not to pursue arts. My aim was only to pursue the music. But that 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 was not happening in me. So at the end of the day, I have joined the commerce stream. All right. Mm -hmm. So in that song, everything is coming under one umbrella in that song. So as soon as I release, everything will be uh, clear enough. And I hope that uh, through that song, you will bless. And I and I know uh, and I believe that I have justified with your question. Thank you so much, uh, member of the Butterflies Gang. <laughs> 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 thank you thank you for that wish you luck for your uh coming thank song you. i mean like we're looking forward to read your diary i'll call it a diary as of now since you're going to yeah. expose whatever you were feeling back then <laughs> yeah that's what yeah. i wanted to say yeah Mali, over to you you can go ahead carry on with your okay thank you so much siluviv thank you for your question and i hope the answer is very well justified by mr muno very much <laughs> <laughs> and you look very amazing, by the way, your new hairstyle and everything. Oh, yeah, and I've been like, one? I've <laughs> Which been one? like, doing this. <laughs> this is the in thing. Yeah, I'll better catch up. And to the audience, she is Miss Sulevi. She was from my badge. I hope you all know her. We'll be meeting up very soon again. Thank you for joining. Indeed. Well, indeed. is there anyone who wanted to ask questions to our panelists? If yes, then you can take your time. Am I audible? I want to take question. Yes, sure, sure. I want to take audible, Mr. Okay, uh, our brother Mono. Okay, we have heard about your story, so many reverses and done. Huh? but again, can you please highlight about your MS solution? <laughs> I think it will be helpful for us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, at first, I thought that I won't bring that one because since uh, it's not a business talks or something like that, I just kept under the darkness uh, regarding the MS solutions. I am running two, uh, two things, that is MS solution and MS production. MS solutions, uh, MS, it did with, with my name, that is Monoshu Solutions. So in, in, in MS solution, I used to deal with the sound system rental, uh, sound consult uh, consultancy. At the meantime, I stage, slice generator, etc. I used to deal with that. So. And at the meantime, I used to go for the eco structure. MS solution, everything it is coming under one umbrella that is in a music term only. So in MS solution, uh, to be clear enough, I, I'm, I, I used to deal with the, the sound rental and then acoustic treatment, etc. So in, in a, there's one production again, that is the MS production. That is, uh, I have run during the year of uh, last year, that is 2020. Uh, MS Productions, it is especially for the artists of Kamnimans. Uh, since our brother Albert has put, uh, put it up about regarding the MS solution, I would like to bring something about the MS Productions also. So MS Production, I used to deal with the artist management. At the meantime, I used to deal artist management of the Kamnyungan only, Kamnyungan community. That is why only the Kamnyungan community is that as we all know, as an Eastern Naga, I am from the Eastern Naga. I belong from the Kamyungan Naga community, and I am from Nuklak district. As an Eastern Naga, there we used to guess, uh, get less opportunity for all the artists. There are so many talents. There are so many of the youths who have got a unique talent, but the thing is that they used to hear, uh, they used to uh, go away from their talent because of the lack of the opportunities and less, uh, because of the lack of this uh, platform, right? So I've started MS production only for our community, that is only for our tribe of the Kamyungan. So what, I'm, what I used to do over there is that I used to take, uh, if you are an artist, I used to take the artist and I used to uh, let him or her participate in competition or if uh, in concerts, or if there is anything uh, organizing, basing on the artist format. So I used to do, uh, let them take part. Or if you are a, a writer, I used to bring uh, into his or her, sorry, into his or her line. And if you are a uh, painter, or if you are an uh, what is a content creator and all, I used to bring according to what he or what he, uh, 
he or she is uh, is good at. So MS production, I used to deal with that. It's a very new production that I've set up. And it is only for the Kamyongan community uh, that I've done. Why? Because is that Mon Bekaido, while looking at the while looking at our Eastern Naga, while looking at our tribe, I feel that something has to be done. That is why I have started the MS production. MS solution that deals with the sound, MS production that deal with the artist management. These are the two uh, things that I'm dealing with apart from Tafma. Thank you. I hope that I am clear enough. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mr. Muno and Mr. Albert. Is there anyone who wanted to uh, put up a question for our panelists more from here? Well, it looks like we have covered all of our questions. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Munoshu and Ms. Naomi Aye. We appreciate your being with us today. Uh, thank you for participating in the webinar and sharing your experiences. I hope the audience knowledge has been expanded by this meeting. Now we come to an end uh, of this session, but before we wind up, I would like to turn the time to Mr. Albert Sangtam, who is also treasure of Tetsu Alumni Network to present a word of thanks. Okay, am I audible? Yes, Can yes. Can you hear me? Yes. So, yes, sorry, yes, okay. Yes, Since there is no Garen, Garen just gone away and I can't open my video also. <laughs> I, I apologize for that. Okay. But then, uh, as a word of thanks, okay, <clears throat> first of all, good evening. Good evening. First bro. of all, I thank our Almighty God for guiding us throughout this session and making us success. Secondly, I, on behalf of the Tetsu Alumni Executive, will also like to thank today's speaker, that is Brother Mono and Sis Naomi, for accepting our request in spite of your busy schedule. In return, we don't have nothing to give you, but may our good Lord bless both of you. And this is just the beginning. Yeah. We will be inviting you for the live session as well. So we will be expecting positive response in days to come too, okay? And I hope that whoever has attended today's session has learned something from our speaker. Thank you so much once again, brother and sister. And I also like to thank our president for warmly welcoming us in this session. Not forgetting our moderator, Sis Mahe also, for making this session so amazing. All right, thank you so much. And lastly, I also thank each and every one of you whoever have attended this session. May our good Lord bless you. And I hope and pray that again, days to come, whenever we have this kind of program, everyone will turn up and we are expecting to meet soon as a life also. Once again, big thank you to Brother Mono and Sis Naomi. Thank you so thank much. You. May our good Lord bless you. Thank you. And long live our Tetsu alumni. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, yes, Mr. Yes, thank you once again. Well, thank you all again for attending today's webinar despite your busy schedule. We encourage you to connect with us on social media. Of course, we have uh, 2.5K members on Facebook, but wow. we have very less followers on IG, Instagram. So please follow us on uh, Instagram also, and then you can share with your mates, your friends, so and so, so that you'll be able to connect well in future as well. And we also have a WhatsApp group. I'm sure uh, some of you have already joined, but if not, you can also join them or you can join